We begin with breaking news. The coronavirus pandemic now moving so fast, things are changing by the hour. Millions of college students have been sent home during this pandemic and now have to take classes online. The two classes I was going to be taking were canceled. I have to come back home to Japan. A struggle for me was definitely not being able to see my friends. Not knowing what the future would hold. Staying motivated. It's finding a way to stay focused and on task. It's finding a decent place to study. And teaching myself classes from scratch. Missing my family and friends a whole lot. The thing that's helped me cope most with this has been um, keeping in contact with my friends and family. You are going to come out of it a much stronger, more equipped, better person, a better version of you. They found out I'm getting into grad school. The best part of this quarter is connecting with friends every week on FaceTime and Zoom. Kept me motivated was doing it for my mama. Love you, mama. Getting engaged. Spending time with my family. We are resilient, we are brilliant, and we are Highlanders. We are Highlanders. Class of 2020, let's go. I'm graduating. We are Highlanders. We at UCR would like to respectfully acknowledge and recognize our responsibility to the original and current caretakers of this land, water, and air, the Kawiya, Tongva, Luiseño, and Serrano peoples, and all of their ancestors and descendants, past, present, and future. Today, the UCR campus is home to many indigenous peoples from all over the world, including UCR faculty, students, and staff, and we are grateful to have the opportunity to live and work on these homelands. We also wish to recognize and thank those among our graduating class, student body, faculty, staff, and the greater community who have and are serving in the U.S. Armed Forces. We are especially proud of the active duty and military veterans in the class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. I can't imagine a prior graduating class that has endured the challenges that you have since last March. You are in the middle of winter quarter, buckling down, uh, trying to finish classes, thinking about senior projects, master's theses, uh, dissertations, and then it all came to a stop. Uh, the campus closed, we had uh, finals remote, and we had to start up spring quarter with you either taking classes remotely or teaching classes remotely. You got to experience the range of challenges that uh, hit this campus at that time. Um, shaky internet, uh, Zoom bombing, uh, children, dogs, family members walking back and forth behind you on the screen. Uh, but you persevered, you made it, and you showed your resilience. I'm proud of you and I believe that everybody that's watching uh, this video right now is proud of you. I also think we want to thank and congratulate your family, your friends, uh, the staff at the university, uh, the faculty, and everybody that helped you through this journey. Um, it wasn't just one night where you were up, were up late uh, working on schoolwork. It was weeks, months, and years and you made sacrifices and they made sacrifices to help you get to this point. So 
Uh, congratulations to all and a big thank you. As you make this next step into your uh, future, you know, whether or not it's going to graduate school, uh, on to professional school, uh, if you're finishing your PhD, uh, into a university and the professoriate, um, you will rely on what you learned at UCR. Um, the people that you met, the classes that you were in, but most importantly, the students, faculty, and staff that you engaged in. Um, and this experience uh, over the last two months uh, has just demonstrated your resilience that you're going to carry into your future. So congratulations, uh, good luck, you're gonna do great, and I hope that you have an impact. Go Highlanders. Hey everybody, it's Governor Gavin Newsom. And first partner, Jennifer Siebel Newsom. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud of you. This is a remarkable feat. We know it wasn't easy, especially in the past few months, having to adjust to online learning, probably moving out of your dorms. Um, some of you being the first in your families to graduate, yeah. we know that this isn't what you imagined this day would look like and feel like, uh, but you, you're here, you did it. We're so proud of you. And no one can take it away from you. And I know you're filled, a lot of us are filled with a little bit of fear, a little bit of anxiety about this being the new normal. It is not the new normal. We'll get through this, but we have to get through it together. And I love to say, because it's true, no one stands taller than when he or she bends down on one knee to help lift other people up. I think if there's anything in life you can do is see the world from a different set of eyes, not just your own. Be a little more empathetic, a little bit more compassionate. And if you are, uh, together we'll get through this much sooner than you think. So take care of yourselves. Be proud of yourselves. We cannot wait to see what you do for California in the days to come. Congratulations. Congrats to the class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm so proud to join you all today to celebrate this milestone. Like many of you, I had hoped that we would be enjoying this day together in the company of your family, friends, and fellow graduates. This is your graduation, but it also belongs to everyone who has supported you, cheered you on, and lifted you up over the course of this journey. I look forward to the day when we can all come together in person to celebrate your achievements. This class has always been extraordinary in every sense of the word. That word comes from the Latin phrase extra ordinem, meaning outside the normal course of events. I'd say the class of 2020 knows something about that. You've also embodied the word extraordinary through your exemplary achievements at the University of California, both inside and outside the classroom. You've worked so hard, sometimes overcoming great obstacles in pursuit of your UC education. And you are graduating with your eyes open about the immense challenges we face as a society. No one can know exactly what the future holds, but this much is certain. As you see graduates, I know you have the tenacity, the skills, and the creativity to succeed and to lead us through this challenging moment. Generations before you overcame world wars, the depression, and countless other difficult moments. This is your moment. Your resilience, your curiosity, and your commitment to making the world a better place is needed now more than ever. To an extraordinary class at an extraordinary moment, congratulations on your graduation. I can't wait to see what you do next. Good afternoon, good evening, everybody. As we commence this graduation, the United States is in turmoil. Waves of outrage, mourning, and demands for freedom and justice surround and must therefore energize your departure from UCR. It is in honor of Taisha Miller, who was gunned down in her sleep by Riverside Police Department officers in 1998, three blocks from the UCR campus, that I urge you to move forward from this day as justice fighters and anti-racist fighters, as well as people who are willing to struggle against all forms of anti-black state violence and terror. Your capacity and willingness to fight and struggle alongside of and in protection of those most vulnerable to systemic suffering and oppression 
is a responsibility that I'm grateful that you will be inheriting and embracing as graduates of this place. Congratulations to you, class of 2020. Class of 2020, when we all began our UCR journey, no one had ever expected it to come to an end like this. Our class has proven time and time again that we are resilient. For many of us, we are the first to attend and graduate from the university. This year, I had the honor and privilege to serve as your ASUCR president. A couple of years ago, I would have never imagined that I'd be able to say that. People like me, according to the statistics, are not supposed to succeed. Yet here we are. For many of us, we have beat the system that wasn't built for us. For that reason, today marks such a milestone moment. A moment that encapsulates the blood, sweat, and tears of our hard work and perseverance. UCR was never perfect, but for many of us, it became a home. From day one, we all became a part of a community that uplifted each other. Whether you found your home in Costo Hall, research labs, the classroom, or clubs, the impact and legacy we all leave behind is one that will never be forgotten. I mean this with every ounce of passion in me. The class of 2020 is the best class UCR has ever seen. The impact our voices have had on this university is one that is heard near and far. Our class has elevated this university to what it is today. I'm so grateful to be a part of this new cohort of alumni. We are leaving UCR to become future scientists, doctors, lawyers, engineers, teachers, members of Congress, and the list goes on. I genuinely believe that this class after today will go out and change the world. The impact we have already had in our communities is immeasurable. We are the future. In the midst of having all of the challenges we have faced, we persevered. We uplifted each other, we supported each other, and now we succeed together. I would also want, as your president, to ask of you one last request. Never let your voice be silenced. We have seen here at UCR how powerful your voice can be. Imagine how powerful it can be in the world. Your voice is now more important than ever. Let's be educated. Let's be more vocal. Let's be more active. This is where true change will come from. We all have the power to move this country in the right direction. So let's work to do just that. To end my remarks, I want to personally thank a couple of people, which I am sure will be parallel to who, would you, who you would all like to thank as well. First, I wanna say thank you to my professors. Without my professors, I would not be the political scientist I am today. Thank you to those professors outside of political science that allowed me to be a scholar who is leaving UCR knowing more than I could have ever imagined about the world and society. Second, thank you to all the staff members at UCR that wake up every day to make our UCR experience the best it could be. And let me tell you, it's been the best. Third, thank you to all my friends. I made it because of all of you. Thank you for crying with me at 3 a.m. Thank you for caring for me when I've been sad. Thank you for showing me what loyalty and real friendship is. I love you all so much. And lastly, mi familia. To my siblings, thank you. To my brothers, thank you for always encouraging me to do more and dream big. Thank you for showing me what it means to care for family. To my little sister, as you begin your journey, thank you for being so strong after everything we've been through. I'm so proud of you, and I can't wait for you to be giving your own commencement speech. A mi mami y papi, lo hicimos. Sus sacrificios y sus esfuerzos me han inspirado a llegar a este momento. De este punto adelante, nuestras vidas cambiarán. Los amo más que lo que puedo decir. Todo lo que yo ha hecho aquí fue todo para ustedes. Gracias por todos. Class of 2020, we did it. We faced every challenge head on and we succeeded. As this chapter ends, a new one opens. I can't wait to come back to campus to celebrate with all of you in person. Until then, see you soon. Congratulations. To all those graduating this spring with your master's or PhD, I'd like to say congratulations. It's a long journey to get through a graduate degree program, and there are a lot of challenges and obstacles along the way. As a PhD student myself, I'm well aware of the, the hard time that a graduate degree entails. Uh, but more importantly than that, your families are also well aware of the, those challenges. 
And I'd like to say thank you to all the families and loved ones who, who support us as we go through this, this wild adventure of a graduate degree. And so your, your love and support is not unnoticed. Now that you've earned your graduate degree, and I mean earned, because no one gets a graduate degree for free, you've joined the ranks of the educated elite in our country and the world really. And for many of you, you're the first in your family to even go to college. And your accomplishment is one worth celebrating. It's both a privilege and a pain sometimes to go through a graduate degree program. And I hope that you have found at least a little bit of satisfaction in diving into the questions and problems and research and experiments during your time here at UCR. You know, they talk so much about life after graduation as going out into the real world. Well, any graduate student knows that we've never been separated from the so-called real world. So many of the questions and problems that we tackle very much have to do with, with that so-called real world out there. And now with this graduate degree, let us go forth and consider it our duty to improve the lives of those in our communities, to improve the world around us, and to be well-informed citizens. It's been a privilege to serve you all as the GSA president this year. And again, I hope that all of you are able to celebrate in your own ways at this time. And I know that we all look forward to a time and a, and a day when we can celebrate in person as a community. Stay safe out there and take care of yourselves. I look forward to seeing all the great work that our graduates are able to accomplish in the coming years. On behalf of the UCR Alumni Association and more than 120,000 alumni worldwide, it is my distinct pleasure to welcome our class of 2020 graduates to the ranks of countless successful and accomplished individuals who've passed through the halls of this institution. You're joining a robust community, a young and vibrant community, one that seeks to empower the next generation of students and alumni. Considering the unique circumstances that we've all had to face recently, I want to encourage you to not let the past couple of months overshadow your entire time at UCR. That time is a grand life experience. Your transition to adulthood filled with learning both within and outside of the classroom. A realization of your full potential and the establishment of bonds that will lend care, guidance, and support throughout your lifetime. Do not underestimate this accomplishment and do not let current conditions diminish your celebration of it. My other ask of you is to stay connected with us. There's a Highlander spirit that permeates UCR, fostered by generations of students that came before you. With your engagement, we can continue to nurture that spirit, helping to sustain the thriving and diverse environment of our campus and expanding the regional and global impact of our university. Exult in your achievement. You've earned it. Congratulations, class of 2020. Welcome to the alumni family. Congratulations, class of 2020. Who would have thought when we met just a few years ago at convocation that this is how your time at UCR would be wrapping up? We expected to be hugging and shaking hands and greeting each other by the bell tower saying goodbye to friends that we'd made during our time here at, at the campus. And now things are very different. We've all attended commencements, where at some point in the ceremony, someone says, let's be sure to thank those who made this all possible. The instructors, the parents, the friends, the relatives. Well, I want to do that today in, in a way that just doesn't even compare to all those other thank yous. Think of what everyone has done of course, you, the class of 2020, but everyone around you who has changed how they think and act and stepped up to support you in this quest for your degree. So it's a special thanks from me to everyone who was part of this amazing class. This amazing class. Um, universities are great places. They're institutions that do all kinds of great things, and they have long lives. And at various points in every institution's life, there will be histories written at the 50th, the 100th, the 200th anniversary of the founding of the institution. Someone will write a book with pictures in it. 
And in that book, there'll be some important dates and groups and people. Uh, certainly the first class. Uh, we actually graduated students in our opening year in 1954 because some students had transferred in. So those people will be important to our class. Um, Gordon Watkins, our first, he was a provost chancellor, uh, and his great quote of, seldom were so few taught by so many, because we only had 127 students and 65 professors, almost one professor for every two students. That'll be part of the history. But I'm guessing the class of 2020 will also be part of the history. Yes, there'll be pictures of people with face masks on, but there'll also be a discussion about the year that we went through, that you went through, and how that affected both you as individuals, but also how it affected the institution. And of course, this is not just about a year of pandemic. It's about a year of social awakening, where America is coming, I think, to better terms with the great injustice, racial injustice, that has persisted in our society for so many years, generations, and really centuries. This has been a time of change, and I believe that someday, when people write these histories, they're gonna talk about the world before 2020, that is before the pandemic, but also, and after 2020, not just the pandemic though, but also this notion of a reawakening. And I am so proud of all of you, not just for completing your plans of study, but the way that you did it, under the conditions you did it. And I'm so proud of you for helping us awaken to this need in America and in the world. Uh, I, and I trust that you will be the leaders in helping us be a better nation in the years to come. Barack Obama said, we are the change we seek, meaning we all have a responsibility to make the world a better place. I trust and hope that your time at UCR has made you a better person and made you better prepared to take on this daunting challenge. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you for all you have done for our university and what I know you will do for the world. And thanks to everybody else who has made this possible. Congratulations. What's up class of 2020? My name is Aaron Long, a former Highlander. Used to play for the UCR men's soccer program back in the day. Now I play for the New York Red Bulls. Just want to give a huge congratulations to you guys. You guys have overcame so much. What a crazy year. Just can't wait to see what you guys accomplish in the near future. Go Highlanders. Congratulations, UCR, class of 2020. You have accomplished so much and you've worked so hard to get here. And I just wanted to give you my heartfelt congratulations to making to this point. I know these are trying times, but this too shall pass. And I can't wait to see all the amazing stuff that you're all going to do. Congratulations. Hi, this is Congressman Mark Takano sending the UCR class of 2020 a message of congratulations. I hope you'll take your education and put it in the service of the community and the world. And remember, when they go low, you and I go Highlander. Good luck. Congratulations, UCR class of 2020. Go Highlanders. These times are uniquely challenging, but Highlanders can and will persevere. Congratulations to all from a Highlander in the class of 1967. Greetings and congratulations to this year's graduating class. My name is Byron Pollitt. I'm from the class of 1973. Since graduation 47 years ago, I have learned never ever underestimate the resiliency, the resourcefulness, and the perseverance of a UCR graduate. As it was for me, this is now part of your Highlander DNA. So go live the moment, live the promise, make the future a better place. Congratulations to the UCR class of 2020. I'm so proud of you guys and I'm wishing you all the best in your future endeavors. Congratulations, fellow Highlanders. Despite everything the world has thrown at you, you did it. Remember the time that we're in and make the world a better place. I can't wait to see what you accomplish in the years ahead. Hi, it's Assembly Speaker Anthony Rendon. I want to congratulate all the UC Riverside graduates of 2020. I graduated from UC Riverside. I'm incredibly proud of that. I know this year was an incredible year, a lot of obstacles, but you made it. Congratulations and go Highlanders. 
Congratulations to the UC Riverside Class of 2020. You have overcome so much already to get to this very point, and we are so proud of you. I cannot wait to see how far you'll go and all that you will accomplish as leaders within our communities. Go Highlanders! You see our fair alma mater, jewel of old, you see. Fiat lux, a shining vision, light to set minds free. Seeking ever, yielding never, old Scots near and far. Waft our love back to the highlands, Hail, fair you see our orange trees blooming in the highlands. Boy, tower chimes ring clear. Standing tall twixt mount and desert, Scots all hold her dear. Seeking ever, yielding never, old Scots near and far. 